Um, in this video today, I'm going to be talking about one uh, cool feature in Excel that I knew about lately and I hope I knew about it earlier because it's really, really helpful and useful. Um, so in, in many cases, you would have some data like what you see here. Um, this is the uh, grades of a class that I was teaching. Um, we have here 207 students, um, as you see here. Um, this is the number of students. And I have the exam. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, consists of four questions and this is the total um, and it's usually um, one very useful thing to get some statistics or to get some data from the um, exam results to know how the distribution of grades is and how did the students do did they do good or bad or something like that and actually looking at, looking at these grades uh, as numbers makes makes it very very difficult to get some useful information out of it so I usually like to get something like this um, to have a plot for the grades uh, versus the number of students so I would know that um, in case I have the numbers here this is the number of students who got 18 I think and these are the those who got 19 and this is 20 and then you have this bell shape uh, Gaussian distribution which is the very very common uh, shape of distribution of data it's it's very useful also to get uh, data like this if you have or plots like this if you have um, experimental data and you want to get some information out of this data um, and actually to be able to get data out of these uh, numbers um, I before I used to use a function that's called count if and I did a lot of manual steps to be able to get the distribution um, so I can make the plot out of it. Um, so today I'm gonna show you one cool function in Excel that can do everything just by typing the function and giving the inputs and it's gonna be um, done. It takes care of everything. Also, I'll show you how you can um, do this plot. Um, I, I think it's pretty simple, but uh, in case and you need to know more about it, I'll show you how to do the plot. Um, so the first thing to do is to uh, put the uh, numbers that you're looking for. So I would uh, first uh, search for the lowest and the highest uh, grade. So I would do the min, which is the minimum, and I choose the whole range. Um, so the minimum is 7.5 and the maximum would be, oops, equals maximum. And I would do the same thing. Um, and we have the grades between 7.5 and 20. Um, so what I'm gonna do is to put the grades from seven uh, with a step of one. So I go from seven, eight, and then we'll go all the way to 20. Um, so here we go. So this is gonna be the grade. And now what I'm looking for is the number of students. Um, so to be able to do this, um, we're going to use a function that's called frequency. And um, this is almost the only function that starts with FR. So if you type this, you can press tab and then you'll see. Um, and to get more information about this function, um, this is what Excel tells you that it calculates how often value occurs or values occur within a range of values and then returns the vertical array of numbering of numbers having one more element. So um, it, it actually looks for the numbers between um, or it's seven and less and then between seven and eight and then between eight and nine and then between nine and ten and so on until you reach this 20. But the thing that I want to focus is that it, um, uh, it returns a vertical array. And if you remember this array thing, we talked about it before when we were discussing the matrices. And we said that the array is a calculation that Excel does that relates um, uh, to a group of cells. It doesn't do the calculation on a single cell. So um, this means that if I said I would do the frequency um, and then I'll start filling the uh, the uh, uh, function. So the bin, the data array, this is where you have the numbers. And then the bin array is the numbers that you are looking for within this set of data. And then um, if you press enter, if this is what you're 
you're gonna get um, and this is again because it is an array calculation so what you need to do is you have to select the whole range of cells that you want to get the numbers in and then you press Control shift and enter and here you go everything is done and you have here the there is only one student who got between seven and eight which is the 7.5 uh, one who's, who got 10 and then the numbers are getting more <coughs> So as you see, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you can you can do some edits if you want. So if you uh, want to go with a step of 0.5 instead of a step of one, um, you can do that. It will uh, require um, that you do the same calculations again. Um, and you have to extend this and press Control Shift and enter. And now you have the numbers. So it's it's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so let's say I want now to do the plotting. I have this data and I want to plot the bar charts. So simply you would go to insert and then you go here and to the column. Um, the silly part about this plotting is that um, oops, is that Excel does not understand that this is X and Y as it does. So it took this uh, blue uh, series as one single series which is doesn't make any sense and then it took the other series as um, or the second column as the other series and it put some um, kind of crude uh, x-axis values uh, just a step of one two three four till it reaches 27 so um, I don't know if there is a way to get it done directly from the beginning as you do for XY scatter but it's it's easily fixable um, you can go here and um, let's go back you can go here um, in the select data and then you go to horizontal axis labels you do edit and then you go here and um, now you have the the numbers uh, that you're looking for and it's done so um, you see here the distribution uh, it's going uh, the taking the same bull shape it's kind of jumping here um, let's say you want to go back to the uh, the uh, step of one so I'll go seven eight and um, of course it took uh, more than uh, it needs to um, so you can easily shrink it up to 20 um, and you see here it's way way nicer distribution uh, and it's very common when you go with very small increments um, it will get mm, not as uniform as it goes with larger increments so this is how you can get the um, distribution uh, using the frequency function again it's an array so you, you cannot edit the whole function you just uh, or, or one single cell you have to head edit the function in the whole uh, array that you're doing the calculations on um, we saw how you can do the plotting and um, get the uh, distribution it's very very helpful and useful uh, especially for those who do research um, and need to get some data out of the uh, numbers that they have so um, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.